Welcome to Seven Dials, the smallest road junction in London. The junction got its name a while back in 1690 from the seven streets cutting through it. Most of the buildings surrounding it are the original buildings dating back 350 years. For years and years, this was the focal point for ballad singers and street artists. Today, it is packed with several theaters, restaurants, and plenty of quirky stores. The vibrant atmosphere and eye-catching architecture will surely make you want to visit the area again. London has many more gems for you, so watch the rest of our guides now for some ideas and inspiration. Be led to royalty by walking through the mall. This long, tree-lined road leads from Trafalgar Square to Buckingham Palace. But this is not just any road. Regardless of the weather, this wide, beautiful route is bordered with parks and often decorated with Union Jack flags. The red surface apparently represents a red carpet running up to Buckingham Palace. Yes, this is the Queen's Front Drive, after all. Just keep in mind that the mall is closed to traffic on certain days, including Sundays and public holidays. Now you have the option of heading straight up towards Buckingham Palace, where you can get as close as possible to royalty, or you could go to St. James Park for a lovely picnic and breathe in the fresh air of greenery. Make your choice now. Westminster Abbey is one of the most famous buildings in the world and one of the oldest monuments in the United Kingdom. This attraction has been the spot for several coronations, burials, royal family ceremonies, and weddings, including the most recent one of Kate and William. If you hold the London Pass, you'll be able to enter the Abbey for free, along with 60 other landmarks around the city. Learn more about it in our special London Pass video guide. Westminster Abbey's architecture is extremely fascinating and wonderful to view. Check out the wax and wood figures of many monarchs. Coming face to face with these lifelike figures is truly a memorable experience. This video is just a small taste for what is waiting for you in London. Make sure to view the rest of our London guides to plan your perfect vacation. Leicester Square is one of London's most central attractions packed with theaters, cinemas, and casino houses. It is here where movie premieres take place, including Harry Potter, James Bond, Shrek, and many more. Leicester Square is also where you'll find M&M's World, so go ahead and satisfy your chocolate passion. A word of advice though, watch out for tourist traps and don't be fooled by buying half-price tickets to shows. Although the ticket prices may seem cheap, they are, in fact, the worst tickets to buy in the house. It's now time to move on, and the options are Shaftesbury Avenue, known as Theatre Land, or Chinatown, which is the place to grab a tasty bite of Asian cuisine. So what'll it be? Make your choice. Shaftesbury Avenue is in the heart of London's West End Theatre District, running from Piccadilly Circus in the southwest up to Bloomsbury in the northeast. Many call this area Theatre Land, as this is where all the fantastic theatre productions are set. Running through Soho, Shaftesbury Avenue has a lovely warm atmosphere. If you're a fan of the stage and you desire to be entertained, then we strongly suggest a theatre production whether it's a musical or a comedy. Notable productions that are set here include West Side Story and Twang. Shaftesbury Avenue also features cinemas, restaurants, cafes, bars, public houses, clubs, hotels, and shops. Your time here is bound to be preoccupied. This video was just a small taste for what is waiting for you in London. Make sure you watch the rest of our London guides to plan your perfect vacation. Welcome to Buckingham Palace, the official residency of the British monarchy. This grand palace consists of 775 rooms 
19 staterooms, 188 staff bedrooms, 52 royal and guest bedrooms, 92 offices, and 78 bathrooms. That's quite a lot of space used by the administrative headquarters of the monarch and for royal ceremonies. Watch the changing of the guard ceremony every other day at 11 a.m. and visit the Queen's Gallery in Buckingham Palace, which is open to the public. If you hold the London Pass, you'll be able to enter the palace for free, along with 60 other landmarks around the city. Learn more by watching our special video guide on the pass at our website. Now it's time to decide whether you'd like to go to the lovely Green Park or to Hyde Park Corner.